Hello everyone, I'm Dorotea and I'm 17 years old. I'm Bulgarian who recently lives in Hanover, Germany. Last week, two of my really, really close friends from Bulgaria told me about their task to do a movie about a person with inspiring stories. So here am I. I'm going to tell you my story and I hope you enjoy it. Okay, so um, it all started when I was one year old and my father lost his job. He got a really nice offer from England, and there we moved to England. Um, as far as I know and I remember, we spent there two years, and um, after that I got sick, I refused to eat, and I couldn't learn two languages by the same time. And um, I had to be sent back home, so yeah, my parents sent me back home to um, Bulgaria. I used to live with my grandma for almost seven years. And I could get to see my parents only twice a year and sometimes not even twice because the plane tickets were too expensive by that time and we couldn't afford that. Um, I used to live with my grandma and my aunt sometimes and when I was in school I got bullied by kids. They were telling me, okay, your parents don't want you, they left you with your grandma because they regret that you were born and they're really evil and mean. And sometimes it was not only verbally and mentally, but also physically. They used to steal my stuff, destroy my things, and were really mean. Um, after seven years, my parents came home, and uh, my mom was pregnant with my little brother. So I wasn't alone anymore, and that was like the first steps to learning what is it to have family, actually. After my parents um, got home, and I had I started my new life and in the period while they were away and I had no one next to me uh, there was a big hole in my life and that's when I um, started dancing and taking um, English lessons I was three years old only I started dancing classical ballet and standard dancing as well and uh, most of the time I was just going to the dance hall and used to dance when I was sad, when I was happy, and when there were like a lot of bad moments in my life. And that's how I developed my biggest passion, dancing. Um, during the years, I got really good and I got accepted to one of the really best schools in my town. And I used to dance in the opera house as well. Uh, since fourth grade, I knew what my goals are and um, made a plan and how to achieve them step by step. So I just started following that plan. I knew that I want to go to a foreign language school and uh, later study choreography abroad and one day open my own dance studio maybe. But then um, one night after school when my father got home, he told us that he got fired and we didn't know how we're going to handle that. It was really a tough period in our life. But a few months later he got a really nice offer from Germany this time. And uh, my parents told me that he's going to go there and work, but that was nothing new to me because basically my whole life was without him, so I got used to it. And um, then he accepted the job. Stop. Um, my dad left for Germany and he moved there. Um, after one year, he came back to Bulgaria to visit us. And that's when um, my mom and my dad told us the news. We were all moving to Germany, and that was a turning point in my life. Um, I told them, no, I'm not coming. And they told me that I have no choice if I want to be with my family. And they were right, because um, 10 years of my life, I spent only with my grandma. I had no family, no parents, no brother, no one. And now if I wanted to have a family, I would have to go and do it with them. And um, they told me that I have no choice, I just have to leave and go with them. A um, few months later, my father left again and we had left only this summer to pack our stuff, to say goodbye to friends, relatives, siblings and everyone. And that was one of the biggest obstacles that I had to go over. I had to say goodbye to my grandma, which was basically my second mom because she raised me. And I had to leave behind all my friends, all my new built life, the dance school I got accepted, the foreign language school, everyone who I love, and um, that was pretty tough. 
At the airport, on the way to Germany, at the airport, I couldn't stop crying and I cried my heart out, honestly. After we arrived in Germany, um, my father has um, rented a house. And when we went to the house, there was like just empty room. There was nothing in the room. For the first three months, we literally had nothing in my room. There was just my suitcase and my bag. And um, the first four months when I was in Germany, I was in a really big depression. All I, I was, all I was doing was laying in bed, crying for my friends and talking on the phone with them. Um, I refused to speak the language. I told my parents, no, I'm not going to learn German. I don't want to learn this language. I want to go back. And um, after that, I realized that I have no choice and I have to do it. I just have to get over this and keep moving on. Um, I couldn't find at the beginning a really good dance school and that was all I wanted to do, just go and dance. And I had to switch for dancing schools until I find a good one. At the beginning it was really, really difficult because I couldn't understand what the teacher was saying to me. I couldn't like understand what they explained to me. And it was really bad feeling to know that you cannot do what gives you most pleasure just because you don't know the language and you're a foreigner. Also at the beginning you know the Germans are not the most open-minded people and they're kind of cold. So um, I had no friends at the beginning and I couldn't speak the language. I, all I could say was hello, thank you and goodbye. Um, at school I got called refugee and I got experience I experienced racism and at the beginning they were really surprised that I just came here and started learning at school. Um, everything was going well and now it's going well. Um, last December I got accepted at the Herbert Royal Dance School and I had a performance with them. That was really nice and um, I don't know what in life, what I learned is if you go step by step, you're going to achieve a lot of stuff, but when I came to Germany, I had to start from zero, like literally zero. We had nothing in the rooms. I couldn't speak the language. I had no friends, and I had to leave all the people I love and love me, and I was alone for a year. But then, you should just not give up, because you never know what life is hiding behind a corner, and if you keep going, just move on and you're gonna achieve a lot of things and now I'm happy with my life of course I keep missing my friends I'm homesick really often and um, I can't wait to go back and see my friends but that's how life it is it's tough so no matter how tough your life gets just keep going and the things are gonna get better I really miss my friends especially Christo and Martin and um, I want to really thank them for the opportunity and for the pleasure to choose me as their inspirational person for that story because that really means a lot to me. And I really hope they can come here soon or I can come back so I can see them, visit them, hug them and be with them again because they mean a lot to me.